Let me move back a bit. Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube video. So it has been a long time since I have made a YouTube and I think the last time I made one specifically for like actual YouTube purposes was probably my first show in my last bodybuilding season which was in May 2023 so it's been a long 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 time I've wanted to make a comeback from YouTube um, but I just haven't really had the time I've not really put much prioritization on it but here I am today thinking right I'm gonna give it a go I'm going to try and film a YouTube video because I feel like this is just where you get to know me a little bit more on a personal level I feel like social media in terms of like Instagram and stuff that is just at like kind of the bare minimum of who I am and I feel like I can show you guys a lot more of who I am within these YouTube videos I thought I would start off with something super duper basic and basically take you through a leg day hopefully you can hear me whilst I am training as well because I'm going to do like a mic'd up session if it even works but yeah we've got a nasty leg day today so it is Monday and it is leg day full leg day so we are training quads hamstrings glutes dare I say I might do calf raises I don't know just I'm <laughs> just don't like training calves okay like I honestly hate it with all my being um but I need bigger glutes and I just need generally bigger legs and I just want bigger legs to be honest so this is what I'm currently doing and I've been doing this split now for maybe like for quite some time to be fair maybe for like six to eight weeks so yeah I'm looking forward to it I am actually not at my usual gym I actually am at I'll show you guys I am at B Modified Gym Fitness. I'm training here today. Um, I usually train at Ultraflex Derby. This is also in Derby and actually one of my great friends, Jacob and Mel own this place and run this place. So I know it is a really, really good gym. I just train at Ultraflex Derby because having two memberships, my bank account doesn't really like it. So I've got a membership at Ultra Flex Derby which is equally as good as well. We are going to get down and dirty into the session and I'm just going to take you along with me the best I can. So here is to a YouTube video. Time to make my intra supplement, intra workout. So I've got my EAAs, trained by JP Sour Cherry, which is not too bad to be fair, it's quite nice. <laughs> One thing I don't have is a funnel, so we just use our hand and try and not make a mess. Creatine, obviously. Do you reckon they'll tell me off if I go behind there and nick a cup of water? I can lean and get it. Time for pre-workout. I don't have any stimulant products. I only have pump products just because I get quite anxious going to gyms anyway, just in general. Um, and also I train at around two o'clock usually. So I don't feel as though I wanna take like a lot of caffeine, otherwise it will just affect my sleep. So pump products for me. This is honestly one of my favorite pump, pump products. I've got Nova Neuro Nova Farm. It is Mermaid Kisses, really good one. I am trying the, what is it? The HR Labs new one soon. So I'm getting that set. So I'm eager to try that because this one's running out. You can buy all of these supplements, by the way, from Insight Subs. Use Sanaya codes. Use code Sanaya10. So starting on a leg extension, I generally just do this because I find that it just warms me up a bit better for my compound movements. So I just do a few sets of warming up, especially because I haven't been to this gym in a while. Um, so I don't really know where my strength is at on this particular machine. So I'm just going to do a few warm ups until I can figure out what the hell my weight's going to be. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I just went to go in and the, the chair was like, nope. <laughs> Oh. 
10 to 12 reps on there. Um, I generally prefer doing the higher rep set first, just to kind of like get used to the machine, just get used to the weight and just kind of like warm my muscles up, especially with it being the first exercise. Then I'll go into like a heavier set, um, about eight to 10 um, as my last set. And then we're gonna move on to the leg press. So we've got the Cybex squat press, which honestly kills me every time. So one step at a time though, we'll do the uh, top set. Very, very good leg press. To be fair, probably top three of my favorite leg presses. I've only been using it now for a couple of weeks consistently, so I'm not that strong on it. But we are building our way up. So I'm gonna do about two sets of this. I generally like to work in like a top to bottom, well, top set to drop off set, drop set, no? Top set to back off set, there we go, on most of my exercises. Now, with me running and stuff, I have to base my intensity off how shit I feel, how shit my legs feel, just to ensure that I am recovering with my running as well as my leg training as well. But today I feel good, so we're gonna get cracking. Lighter machine. Huh? The lighter this. Is it? No wonder it felt easier on the warm ups. Should be better now because it was the setting was really loud so i'm sorry if the uh, video is where uh, you can hear an increased amount of breathing i've lowered the volume so hopefully it's not killing your uh, killing your screens off so i've gone down to four and a half honestly cannot remember how many reps i got but yeah that was a tough set it fucking kills me off every time as much knee flexion as we possibly can to target the quads as well. Um, so feet are nice and low on the pad. We're now moving on to some dumbbell RDLs. We'll be doing dual arm, dual arm, dual leg today. We've got some warm ups on 25. Again, I haven't done this in a while. So, again, just because it's a different gym, change a few of my exercises up a little bit. Gonna do some warm ups, see how weight feels, and then go in. I do use chalk and use trap foods just because, thanks to my mum, I have really clammy hands. So, yeah, extra protection so I just don't drop the weight or the weight doesn't decide to slip out of my hands and ruin my set. <laughs> I 
one thing that helps me essentially get like a really good connection is thinking of it as a back and forward movement with my hips. So when I'm coming down, I'm pushing my hips back, bracing really, really tight. And then when I'm coming up, essentially, I am tucking my hips forwards, like in front of you. So that's a cue that I give my clients is thinking of it as a back and forward movement rather than an up and down movement. But the main thing for this is to brace fucking hard because otherwise you'll lose all core stability and you'll probably hurt your back. Just done my top set. Keep sticking to this pad, which is really annoying because I'm wearing shorts, but we move. But now I'm going to go on to my second set, which I'm actually going to do an intensifier on. I'm going to do a double rest pause. So basically, I'm going to choose a weight I can do for about 10 to 12. I'm going to rest for 15, go again for as many as I can till failure. Rest again for 15, go again, to, go again until I hit failure. You catch me on my my leg session finished really really enjoyed it I haven't been here in so long it's been such a long time since I've been here god it's got to have been like four to six weeks since the last time I've been here and in that time this gym has literally doubled in kit like it's mad like how much kit Jacob has invested into this gym and like all the little nooks and crannies that he's put into it like there's changing rooms now because when he moved into this unit um, there was still a lot of work that needed to be done um, but now it's so cool seeing this gym just be almost so complete the music is not killing my ears off on like Ultraflex, Derby, the music is just so ridiculously loud. And we're in a posing room that is big, has the right angle for the back mirror and also has decent lighting. I'm gonna do some posing. Don't know what category posing I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do a bit of figure and a bit of bikini, who knows at this point. Um, figure is still my heart at the moment, but we ain't talking about it because some days I'm like, no, I'm a bikini girl. And then others I'm like, I love training legs at the moment. I'm not if I stick to it and do wellness. And I'm like, mm, maybe not. And then I'm like, oh, but I love bikini. And it's just like, snap, just train hard. Just have fun with it. And the category is going to pick me but at the end of it. I'm just training what I love and doing what I love as well. These are called the Maz in the Time to Shine range. Um, they're so comfortable with the plastic being really soft it honestly just means that it doesn't hurt my feet like I find this fabulous ones um, with the really really harsh um, plastic just really hurts my feet um, and yeah isn't as comfy Am I going now? Just falling over dreams. Now I'm just so far gone. This isn't what it seems. Taking me so damn long, it's fading from belief. I need to slow this down. It's burning from beneath. 